What's going on ladies and gents and welcome to a laptop water cooling project. Now this is going to be part one of the project. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but we'll soon find out. I came to uh, the this attempt because my Alienware 17, I think it's an R5, um, was fully spec'd up when I bought it. Uh, it runs all my games, everything great, but when it comes to Premiere Pro, um, and exporting video, high quality video, uh, HD, 1080, 60 frames and 4K. The CPU overheats and it does it every time. And I've cured this in the past by stripping down the uh, CPU and the heat sink, dusting everything out, putting fresh paste on, uh, Arctic MX4 paste I believe. Um, so some decent stuff. And after a month or so I end up coming back to the the same stage so anyway let's go through the bits that I have collected and first of all I want to say this video is not sponsored by anyone any of the products here uh, this is all stuff that I've just bought myself um, and I the places I've bought them from have been overclockers in the UK uh, eBay and a couple of bits from my local electronic store anyway so we got the liquid, UV yellow, radiator, which is going to be key. This is like 120mm fittings for 120mm fans and 8mm uh, for 8mm hose connectors, barb connectors. We've got a reservoir, which is by XSPC. So we've got two inlets and two outlets. We're only going to need one inlet and one outlet. So luckily there's blanking plugs. These are the brackets I've bought from eBay for mounting fans. And I'm going to use to mount the radiator. This did actually come with mounting brackets. But they ended up being a little bit too high. And I didn't like them. So I'm hoping I can take this bottom plate off and mount this directly to this. Which is a trophy plinth made out of wood which I've bought this off eBay so I'm going to be as you can see I've already been marking some things out I'm going to be using this to mount it all to some fittings now this is a step up converter uh, with a LCD screen little LED, sorry LED display that will allow me to step up the 5 volts to 12 volts to power the fan and I can regulate the fan speed using this little potentiometer here. Now the pump hasn't arrived yet and nor has the water block for the laptop but the pump is 5 volts so I've bought a 2.4 amp charging port that outputs 5 volts 2.5 amps sorry 2.4 amps maximum and this should be more than enough I've done the calculations to run both the fans and the pump. The fans run on 12 volts the pump runs on 5 volts. I want the pump running at a constant so the pump will be directly wired to this via a USB cable and the fans will be wired from here to here and then output to the fans at 12 volts so I can control the speed. Fans are here and they are Spectre Extreme LED 120mm fans. Uh, I basically just bought them because they look cool and they should bolt directly to the radiator. I'm going to go for a push-pull setup and just because I'm, I'm wanting to run them at low RPMs, so hopefully that will give me more flow through the radiator. You have to forgive me, like my PC knowledge is very basic, so. Got some hose clamps. 5 meter USB extension cable. Uh, some self tappers, just for mounting to the board. Some bolts for mounting the radiator hopefully if they're the right size little LED for going in the back of the reservoir and a USB female connector which is going to go I'm going to mount in the the base plate and wire everything too so I can quickly disconnect and connect a USB cable and of course some 8mm inner diameter and 10mm outside diameter tubing this is cheap off eBay you can just it's the sort of stuff you use for like aquariums and food and stuff like that. This is the, the flexi stuff I think you see in uh, what are called PCs. Whether it'll stand up to the temperature when the thing gets warm. If it gets warm, I don't know. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to bolt a few of these things together and do a mock-up and um, 
yeah, see how we're going to mount them to the plinth. Okay, so here we have the fans mounted to the radiator and the reservoir sat with its connection connection pipes here and it's looking pretty good. I wanted a pretty tight build because I like to build tight and neat so hopefully I'll be able to get everything on this block. Uh, I'm going to mount my step up converter on top of the fan I think. I'll either glue it down with hot glue or use some double sided foam. And bolt this to the plinth using these supports and I've marked out where I need to plonk them so I can drill the holes. I can also mark this out, take the bottom plate off and screw in bolts from the opposite side and the wiring is going to disappear around the back and here I'm going to have the pump mounted once it comes through. I know the dimensions of the pump so it should fit in here. And if I wire down the side, I'm just thinking where I want my USB plug in. Do I want it here? Do I want it here? Or do I want it here? This is the question. I think here is going to be the, the best place because it's going to be right where everything tidies up. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get to the drilling and cutting stage. Standard connector, USB connector, positive, negative, and then data. Positive, negative, data.
so this is the uh, results so far. We've got the reservoir and the radiator mounted, the fans mounted. Uh, this is just on here because I'm trying to get an, an idea of how I am going to mount it. I'm thinking either there or around the back. There. Come on, focus. But yeah, I couldn't resist putting this first hose on just to see how it's going to look. I had to stretch it out a little bit so it's not a perfect angle, a curve. I wanted it to be more of a 90 degree, but it was kinking so I had to uh, run it pretty short. Yeah, so fans from overclockers, radiator, eBay, tubes, clips, uh, eBay, overclockers, overclockers UK. And got the USB port hooked up it's not the most glamorous thing in the world but I'm not really bothered um, I wanted to get this thing together pretty quick so I can get on with editing my videos but it serves a purpose so you can take it off if you want to move your laptop around and then just plug the USB back in and then hook it up to your laptop uh, yeah so next phase of the video is going to be hopefully mounting the water pump getting the whole thing wired up and going for some test runs hope you enjoyed it <laughs>